Hi guys, Ashley here. Today I wanted to talk about realtor jurisdictions and the MLS and kind of define a little bit of that for some people. So I can sell, a, a realtor is typically licensed in their state, meaning I can write up a contract anywhere in Texas, okay, uh, for somebody who wants to buy. However, I don't always have access to that information. So when a client says, I really wanna buy in Houston, I want you to be my realtor, I feel like I'm doing a disservice usually to try to help them unless they really know like, oh yeah, I'm willing to pay this, this is, let's do it. Great, happy to help, but having access to the home and having access to the comps and the market info is the MLS subscription. So MLS stands for multiple listing service and there's different boards. I'm a part of the ABOR, Austin Board of Realtors, and the Four Rivers MLS, which is kind of like Texas Hill Country around Austin. But there's SABOR, there's, um, HAR, Houston Association of Realtors. So there's a lot of different associations that cover different areas. So sometimes we have clients that come to us and say, I wanna buy in Temple, I wanna buy in Belton, I wanna buy in Fredericksburg. And we don't always have the information that we would like to, to set them up in searches, to look up and make sure it's priced correctly. So we refer it. And then usually we can set you up, and I can set you up with a realtor outside of Texas as well, if you're exploring moving and you want to kind of chat with somebody about different areas who knows the area um, well. But um, that's kind of a, a brief little summary of kind of how the MLS works and licensing in the state of Texas. Hope that helps.